Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, I've been working pretty hard at trying to climb the ranks in Arena this month, and I've gotten to a point where I'm not fighting nearly as much aggro, but I am fighting a lot more mid-range and a lot more control. And there's a really good strategy when it comes to beating control decks, and that's take their deck away. So, let's play some mill. So we're going to be playing Azorius Mill today, and this plays a little bit differently than Demir Mill, where Demir Mill is a little bit more um, direct. Um, Azorius Mill plays a little bit more defensively, hold off the enemy as long as possible until you get to a point where you can drop a Jace, drop a Teresian Mindbreaker, that kind of thing, and just blow them out. Because the... The game plan of a typical control deck actually plays into our game plan because they're going to be drawing cards, trying to get value all game long, and we just need to hold them off long enough to get to a point where we can just mill them out in one fell swoop. And that's kind of what this deck wants to achieve. So we have enough removal um, to handle other mid-range creature-based strategies, things like that. So we're running Elspeth Smite, Fateful Absence to take care of pesky planeswalkers. We're running a handful of counter spells in Dissipate and Make Disappear. And some sweepers in the form of Urza Silex, uh, Sunfall, and Farewell. And then uh, enough draw to get us to our win condition. So we're running four copies of Faithful Mending. Um, this is here for two reasons. One, to get cards into your graveyard to be reanimated with Repair and Recharge, and also to gain a little bit of life. Because while I'm fighting a lot fewer aggro decks, it's not a zero amount. There are still some in the meta, um, at least my portion of the meta. So I wanted something that can help me stay alive a little bit longer, advance my game plan, and draw into my threats. So that's why Faithful Mending is in here. Also, a couple copies of Memory Deluge, because it has flashback, and in case you need to discard it to Faithful Mending, you can still cast it for its flashback effect. So that's pretty much the deck. It is um, kill cards, counter spells, draw spells, and... Um, Pretty much enough removal to choke a horse. The um, how we're going to end the game is by either just casting Jace or casting Repair and Recharge to bring a Teresian Mindbreaker or a Jace back from the graveyard. So that's pretty much the long and short of it. Let's go ahead and take it out onto the ladder and see how it does. Okay, so the first game we got our handful of land. We got Elspeth Smite, Urza Silex, Sunfall, and Chase the Perfected Mind. So we've got our win condition. We've got some kill cards. Let's see how it does. Let's see, first turn we're going to go with the Seacrum Coast because it comes into play untapped. And it looks like our opponent is playing some form of black. Maybe even black green, because they got food tokens over there. Let's go and play the planes. Life of Tushir Inazawa. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can gain that little bit of life. I'm okay with that. Maybe we'll play the Urza Silex early. Because if they're playing mono black, they likely won't have a way to get rid of that. Wedding house. Okay, so this is an Orzhov list. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and play Island. And we will play... Let's see. That become that goes to three, so it'll transform. Let's actually go ahead and play Jace right now. And we'll give it a plus one. Direction. That way we can burn it for six next turn if we need to. And we do also have enough mana to um, to Sunfall next turn if we need to. Okay, so we have to discard a card. Let's discard... Let's discard the Elspeth Smite, actually. The Faithful Absence is a little bit be more beneficial for us. Okay, let's get rid of the Faithful Absence as well. Oh, 
Okay, so this is gonna work a little bit better for us. So let's go ahead and go here. And I'm going to do minus two and make our opponent mill three cards. And we'll draw a card for our efforts. And then we're gonna cast Sunfall. Get rid of all their stuff and give us ourselves a creature. Uh oh. Vicious farmstead. Or farm hand, I mean. Okay, so he's going to be able to attack my guy, my Jace. That's fine. What you're thinking won't work. Okay. Let's go ahead. Hmm. But let's go ahead and Faithful Mending first. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Uh, discard two cards. Those two cards are going to be my lands. And we are going to actually minus two right here. Make you mill three more cards. Okay, draw a card, play the land, and we'll say next turn. Go for it. Resolve. All right, he's going to scry. So he's going to look at the top two cards of his library and decide what he wants to keep there. This Orzhov tokens list has um, really popped up out of nowhere and it's gotten really, really popular. And if he doesn't have a way to remove my Silex, I might just activate it this next turn. Pass. Alright, let's go ahead and activate. And I will block right there. Okay, I was expecting some method of um, killing my creature. But it did not happen. Okay. Alright, so... What we'll do here... Okay, he can sacrifice that in response to... Um, to Scry for two. And also he can... He has enough mana open to sacrifice that for the food ability. So what I'm going to do here... Is I'm going to cast Repair and Recharge. And get Jace back. Okay, yeah, he's going to sacrifice that right now. He's going to scry. So, let's see if he puts cards on top. Okay, put one card on top. Surrender your okay. mind to so, what we'll do here is we'll go plus one to get that minus three, minus zero. And Become we'll play that so for land for turn. No attacks. We'll keep our keep our blocker open. I'm kind of holding back a little bit because I want him to overextend into my Urza Silex. Oh, okay. That works. I was not expecting Rite of Oblivion. A minor setback to Phyrexia's plan. That's fine. So he's down to 39 cards now. Okay, this works. Uh, we'll play Jace. Uh, we'll play pay for full cost. And this time, we're just going to nuke his library right now. So, minus five. Focus on the facts. Retreat is the sensible action. Nothing could be more vulnerable. Prevent him from trying to, uh, uh, kill my Jace again. So we'll just sit here with no attacks. So, that gives him 23 cards left in his library. Perfect. Pass. Does he want to attack again? He does. Pass. Block here. I take three. Plays the enchantment side of virtue. Pass. He gets the plus one counter. 
Alright, and end of turn we're gonna cast Faithful Mending. Draw two more cards. Uh let's get rid of those two. We'll keep the Wandering Emperor. Okay, so we gotta make disappear. So here is a great opportunity to activate this. And we will auto pay for the two extra. Get ourselves another Jace. Uh, I will choose six lands. So we choose that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Everything else goes bye-bye. Alright, play a Sheldron. I uh, say counterspell said Sheldron. And that's it. Yeah. Because he knows what's coming. He knows I have a Jace in my hand. Ursus Alex is a really underrated card. Okay. So we got three lands, Elspeth Smite, Repair and Recharge, Make Disappear, and Teresian Mindbreaker. I'm going to keep it because it has it has a lot of my, my game plan already in it. So we'll go ahead and keep it and see what happens. Okay. Perfect. I'm glad I have the Elspeth Smite in my hand. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and play the... Shoot. I, I was going to change my mind to Igon Show. Never mind. Oh, Felden. Perfect. That's fine. You will have your option to choose one of three cards. Land, land, and a questing druid. Probably the, actually the charming scoundrel, probably. Oh no, he chose the questing druid. Okay. Let's go island. Okay, so he has the etching with Kumano now. But we have counter spells to handle whatever he tries to play. So, no matter what, we are taking two damage this turn. Oh. Phoenix Jack it is. Okay. So we're taking three damage this turn. Down to that. Alright, three damage. Play a Gonja, and we have the other eye Gonja to kill a creature. Let's run the Gonja, kill the etching. Or at least attempt to kill the etching. Take the one. God drug. Interesting. Ooh. Faithful Mending. Let's cast it. There's my lands. Okay. Uh, discard Teresian Mindbreaker. And one of the lands. We'll get rid of the Outer Car Wastes. Play the Deserted Beach. So we have mana open to Chaos to uh, make disappear. Right. Take the four. And he did not have anything to cast. So let's go ahead and cast the Obscura. We're going to gain one of that life back and get another land into play. Um, we'll go with the Plains. And say go. End turn. Ruby, the Daring Tracker. Okay. You have a Ruby. Wandering Emperor comes in. Go minus two. Exile Godric. Attempt to exile Godric. Does it land? Or do you have a protection spell? He did not have a protection spell. Or at least he chose not to cast it. Okay. Um, let's see here. What's in the graveyard right now? Uh, we have the Teresian Mindbreaker. Honestly, I think we cast the Teresian... The, cast this to get the Teresian Mindbreaker in play. We've got the edge. 
play out of Lara. Alright, both of them go in there. Perfect. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do it. Alright, she's gone. Okay, so if we cast this, we still have mana available to, um, to cast Make Disappear. So we'll cast this, bring it in, and we'll swing and make our opponent mill half their library. Boom. It puts them down to 22. Perfect. And they take six for the trouble. Yes. So let's see what they choose to do this turn. They just want to attack. I'm okay with that. Take two. Land. Alright, end of turn. We cast Faithful Mending. Auto pay. Draw two. And discard these two. Where's the Silex? Let's see. Yeah, we'll play the Silex. Because they're not at a point just yet where I can just completely nuke them. Though they are playing red and green, so they might have a way to get rid of my Cyclex. I love it. I love watching them just concede. Just, just scooping is sometimes even better than actually finishing the game properly. Okay, so we're starting with three lands. We got both of our colors. We have an Elspeth Smite, Faithful Mending, the Wandering Emperor, and a Farewell. Only card in here that makes this kind of iffy is the Farewell. The rest of it looks pretty good though, so we'll keep it. Begin life with Tranquil Grove. I can respect it. Play of planes. Okay, blue white candy trail. Interesting. Very interesting. I like it. Right. Let's go play another land, and I guess we'll pass. This game might come down to a counter spell war. We'll cast faithful mending. See if you want to counterspell that. He does not. So let's get rid of the Farewell and the Urza Silex. Because we have Repair and Recharge, we'll be able to get that back if we need to. Play the Obscura. And we will go get a. an island. Having access to more, more blue mana is always good. Alright. Chooses to draw a card and gain three life. And he still chooses not to do anything. And I will follow suit and just kind of chill for a moment. Because the, the longer that a game like this goes on, the better my chances of winning the game are. Hmm. I'll pass. I'd rather you draw your cards and give me something to counterspell. I'd rather counterspell the threat than the uh, than the solution, you know? Okay, um, in a turn, we will goad a counterspell out of you. Okay, I see no counterspell, so let's go minus two, or minus one, I mean, to make a token. Now it's my turn. Okay, so. Let's make another token. Next. Keep watch for intruders. Attack with the one token. Oh, Wandering Emperor. Okay. We can resolve that. I hope you're ready to lose. See what I like about Fateful Absence in this deck oh, is. It gives them a clue token, and that clue token will entice them to want to activate it and draw a card. And the more cards that they draw, 
the more it advances my own game plan. Another candy trail. Absolutely. Resolve. One on top, one on bottom. Okay. So they like what they saw. At least a little bit. Oh, you want to cast Sunfall, huh? Um, cast Make Disappear. You're tapped out. Uh, there he is. Okay. Let's go um, plus one right here. And we will attack. Show them how we greet our enemies. Perfect. And now that you are tapped out, uh, let's see here. We'll pay full cost for it. And we'll go minus four. Remove some of your deck. End time. He's at 32 now. But we have the repair and recharge to get him back if we need to. But that all depends on what he does. Oh! Just cast a creature. Perfect. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and we'll play the Seacrum Coast. And we will go minus one to make another token. Keep we'll go plus one to get that minus three. Uh, result. We'll pay it. Next. No tax. Enter. He's got three cards in hand, but he can also um, cast the flashback for Deluge. Ooh, and he draws a card. Resolve that. Puts him to 30 cards left in the library. Resolve. Pass. Okay, he wants to go up to that. Um, I will go to blocks. Block here. And also cast Elspeth Smite on it. Yes. Okay, the two. And we'll watch you try to counterspell it. Ah, yes. Perfect. I'm much more happy to see you um, burn that. Okay. So let's go ahead and go plus one right here. We will attack for no reason. Because we're not going to be winning this with uh, combat damage. Let's see. We're going to make you mill three cards. And we're going to draw three cards. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Okay. So now let's play the Obscura Sword Front. And get ourselves an island. And we'll play Jace for Phyrexian mana. Not okay. So we have enough mana to also back it up with Dissipate. Perfect. It's back in. Actually, let's cancel that. It, X times times three would be nine. He's at 27. We're, instead, we're going to go minus two and make you mill three cards so we can draw three more cards. I will clear your mind. Perfect. And <laughs> there's another Jace. That's awesome. Alright. Okay, he's gonna draw a card. I like that. I definitely like that. We have a repair and recharge in our hand. What can we get back with it? We get back a Jace and an Urza Silex if we need it. You want to go there? 
Let's go pass. Block. All right, um, end turn. We'll cast Faithful Mending again. Draw two, and we will discard two. Discard this and this. Don't really need those. Okay, we need to dissipate. Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and make a dude. We will go make you mill three. And we'll play a full cost chase. <laughs> yep, that's it. That is it. All of our opponents have just straight up conceded. I love it. Okay, so here we are with the post game wrap. And I gotta say, this deck has legs. Like, I've. I've been trying a whole lot of different um, like control shells, piles, things like that. Um, I've been having a lot of success with Orzov lately. Um, uh, I got a pretty decent Golgari Phyrexian midrange that's been do doing some pretty good work. Um, but this, this is uh, this is something else. I, I like this a lot. Um, I so far have not lost a single game playing this deck today. So at the moment, 100% win rate. Humble brag, humble brag. Um, I would have to say, if your meta, what you think that you are playing against, is a little bit slower, more mid range, more control, I would highly recommend this deck because it absolutely capitalizes on your opponents trying to outvalue you. Um, if you're playing in a meta that is a little bit faster, like if you're playing against like almost nothing but red deck wins and like Selesny enchants and really fast decks like that, um, maybe try this deck, but maybe make some alterations to it, add some more early game removal, that kind of thing. Um, but as it is with this shell, um, with the whole repair and recharge, um, getting the Teresian Mindbreakers back, getting the Jaces back, and just just mill bombing your opponent, this deck is solid. Like I had a absolute blast playing this deck today for you guys, and honestly, I hope that you guys have some fun with this deck uh, as well. So I'm gonna put the description or the deck list in the description box down below, so you can give it a spin also if you want to. Um, yeah, so yeah. If you want to mill out your opponents, this is a very solid option. So, until next time, take care of yourselves.